how do you set up affiliates for your online course inside of Kajabi, you're in the right place. Hey friend, Graham Cochran here. I'm gonna show you how to pull this off inside of Kajabi. Yes, Kajabi can create an affiliate dashboard for you and all potential affiliates, meaning people who want to sell your products for you and get paid a little commission to do that. It is a great win-win, the ultimate win-win, especially in the digital product space. And Kajabi not only has an entire backend for that, but keeps track of every transaction so you know exactly how much to pay everybody. Very easy to do, and it makes your life simple. So I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that inside of my business and how you can set it up inside of your Kajabi account. If you don't already have Kajabi, you're just looking into it and you wanna play with it, consider signing up for a 30-day free trial using my affiliate link. How meta is that? We're talking about affiliates. I have an affiliate link. Yes, I'm an affiliate of Kajabi. What's cool about this is that they offer you a 14-day free trial on their website, but if you use my link below, gramcochran.com slash Kajabi, I can get you a 30-day free trial, twice as long to play with it. On top of that, I wanna give you up to two free courses just for using my link. Number one, you're gonna instantly get my Ready, Set, Kajabi mini course that'll walk you through everything you need to know to get up and running and launch something in Kajabi as quickly as possible, including some of my favorite secret ninja marketing tactics that I use in Kajabi. And then if after the 30-day trial, you love Kajabi, which I think you will, and you become a paying Kajabi customer, two things happen. One, part of your monthly payment comes back to support this channel at no cost to you, which is super cool. And then two, because of that, I wanna give you another gift, which is my three-step sales copy formula course. Just forward me your receipt when you become a paying customer and let me know that you signed up through my link. I can check it in my back end, and then I can get you an entire mini course on sales copy for free just to say thank you for supporting me and using my link. It's all below, grahamcocker.com slash Kajabi. Okay, so when you log into your Kajabi account, Affiliates are now under the sales tabs. So you go to sales and then go to affiliates. And I don't have affiliates set up for the Graham Cochran brand yet. So this is this is what yours would look like, very blank. Um, and you can get it all set up. Like I don't have any users, right? So you could import from another platform or obviously you're gonna have them when they set up. I don't have commission set up or any link set up or transactions. So you're gonna have a bunch of zeros when you sign up this way and you're gonna get ready to go. But this is where you would start. You would start in a couple of ways. One, you have an affiliate sign up link. This is what you would share with someone who wants to be your first affiliate. So let's say I'm like, hey, I love your products. Can I promote them to my list and make a cut? Can I be affiliate for your course? And let's say you have a $100 course. And you're like, yeah, if you sell my course, I'll give you a percentage to everyone you sell it to. I would say, how do I sign up? You would go into your back and copy this, send them this link, and then they can sign up. Let me show you what this looks like inside of the Recording Revolutions Kajabi backend, because I do have lots of affiliates for that. So when people want to become a affiliate or an affiliate for the Recording Revolution, I go into my affiliates dashboard and I copy this sign up link, send it to them, and this is what it looks like. They have to put in their name, their email address, they create a password because they're creating a login and then their PayPal email address because that is how you're gonna pay people is through PayPal. So whatever the email address is that's associated with their PayPal account, they need to put that in there here because it might not be the same as their contact email address. And they're gonna sign up and then they're gonna have their own affiliate backend. And they're gonna be taken to an affiliate login page whenever they wanna log in which looks like this, and they're just gonna type in their email and the password they created. Now they're logging into your Kajabi account, but to a private area that's just their Kajabi affiliate backend. And what do they see? Well, they see links, okay? So let me back up though, because when they sign up, you're gonna have a list of users. And I got a lot of users here over the years that have all been affiliates for the Recording Revolution. Tons, okay? A lot of times they're my customers. They're like, hey, I, I, can I make money selling your own courses? Sure. So you're gonna have users pop up there. Second, you're gonna have to go to commission setup. And this is where you're gonna have your products. Every offer, I should say, not products, but every offer you sell, you can flip on with the switch whether you want to have offer a commission and then what percentage commission. So for example, I had a course called Perfect Vocal Takes and I flipped it on and I'm offering a 50% commission. So if somebody were to sell that, through their affiliate link, they're gonna get half of $67, which is $33.50, okay? 
Same thing with musical income, 147, that's a 50% commission. Any of these, I'm offering 50% commissions on any of these offers. I have my Radio Ready system, which is 397. I sell this on an auto webinar. That is set up to have 50% commission. So you could change the commission. You could not offer some offers for affiliates and some offers you could. You have complete control over every offer you've ever created inside of Kajabi. You set them up here with, are they gonna be affiliatable, if that's a word? and what percentage you're gonna give. Now let's talk about percentages for a second. In the digital space, when it comes to courses or memberships, a very typical commission split is 50-50. And this makes sense because A, it costs you nothing to sell or, or um, deliver the product. So there's no initial cost to you. Um, it's 100% profit for you. So if somebody sells your product to an audience that they have, they should, in my opinion, get half the money because they brought the people, they did the selling, but you have the, the sales copy because you've got the sales page, you, you built the product and you've got the delivery. So it feels like an even split. You sell it to your people, you should get half. And a 50% commission structure is enticing enough for someone to want to make a difference and actually try to promote it. One exception might be if the person promoting your product as an affiliate has a much, much larger audience, like humongous audience that you really wanna tap into, you could offer them a 60% commission, meaning they're gonna make more than you. Even though it's your product, they're gonna make more than you because you know what you're gonna receive is a ton of customers, a ton of exposure, and a ton of email addresses. So it might be incentivizing, you might be incentivized to incentivize them by giving them more money if you wanted to approach someone to be an affiliate for you. Like, hey, would you consider promoting my course to your audience? It would help me out a ton. I'm willing to give you 60% of every sale. That's enticing to someone because they see that you're willing to make less than them, significantly less than them, just for the opportunity for them to promote your product to their list. I've done that. I have been approached in that regard and I've taken it because I knew I had a big audience. I knew if I promoted their product as a perfect fit, I might make more. So that's the only exception there, but typically 50-50. And I do this with membership sites too. My membership site, Dually Mixes, I ran that for seven years. We offered uh, affiliate splits on that 50% as well. So you wanna set up your commission set up there and just pick your percentages. And then you're gonna to wanna to create links. So when you're doing your first affiliate, you're not gonna have any links yet. I've got a bunch of links here. But here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna create links. And you're gonna create links for anything. At its core, you're gonna create a link for probably the sales page of your course. Or if you have a cool pre-launch sequence of like an opt-in form that leads to three videos or an email sequence that you know converts and then pitches a course, you could create a affiliate link for the opt-in page instead of the sales page. Whatever the thing is they're going to send their audience to, you need to create a link for. So I'll show you what this looks like. You create new link, you give it a name. So for example, um, I might say um, audio income project sales page, because that's what the link I'm gonna create. Um, and the redirect is going to be to a landing page. And I'm gonna choose which landing page. So I'm gonna type in audio income project. So I'm gonna do audio income project because I have a landing page for that, which is a sales page, okay? And then I'm gonna click save. And then now this is a link that will show up as a possible link for my affiliate in their dashboard. When they click on it, they're gonna be able to see like the copy and pasteable link for that. And it's going to attach their own affiliate ID to it. So whatever the URL is, audioincomeproject.com or recordingrevolution.com slash AIP, I'm not sure what it is. That link is gonna be created in their dashboard and, and I can tell them, hey, if you wanna promote my course, Audio Income Project, use that link inside of your affiliate dashboard. So they're gonna copy it and paste it and it will automatically add their ID and add a cookie. So when then when they direct people to it and they click on it, it redirects them to my sales page, but now my backend knows that it came from that affiliate link. And so it's going to start tracking things like clicks and conversions. So you can see total, right? I've got 81,000 clicks whatever, whatever conversions, I have conversion rate, 2% of people that clicking on something end up buying something. Um, all of that is there and it's gonna track it inside of transactions, right? So this is 
from old to new. So this is when I moved everything from Recording Revolution onto Kajabi in 2016. Um, you can see that uh, my buddy Warren, he must have sent um, a link to his audience for the Jumpstart series, which is a product I have, 50%. And so that course is 99 something. So he got 49.50, right? So that was his, it tracked that sale inside of the transactions. I never have to look at this because at the end of the month, this bad boy lets me export every month's worth of transactions. And this is the beautiful thing. So I can, at the end of the month, and this is what I do, or have your assistant do, because they can log in and do this as well. When the month is over, have you or your assistant go in and then export the CSV file. That's what it's gonna give you for the month that's over. You can choose to do it immediately following that month, or you can choose to wait a month. So you're exporting two months ago. That way you have time for a refund policy, perhaps, to come into effect. And then you're going to have a CSV file, a .csv file, which is something that you can easily upload to PayPal to do a mass payment. It's going to read that file and know, okay, pay this PayPal email address, $170. This PayPal email address, $300, whatever. It's gonna add up all the transactions per PayPal email address. So my buddy Warren, if he sold 12 products in a month of mine through his affiliate link, it's just gonna add up the total amount of money I owe him and make it one transaction. So I know I owe Warren $472.37 total. And PayPal allows you to do that with mass payments. Worst case, you can do it one affiliate at a time, but you're still gonna have a CSV file that tells you pay this email address this amount of money. Very easy, I log in, I do it once a month. Once a month, I make all my payouts. And I do that for my courses and I do that for memberships as well. I, I pay out once a month. But you could choose to pay out quarterly if you want to. I get affiliate commissions from, I taught at Creative Live years ago, cool company. In 2014, I did two classes there and I still get commission checks, my affiliate commission basically, every time they make a sale, but I get paid quarterly from them. I like to pay out monthly to my affiliates because that's the way I would wanna get paid. But that's completely a decision that's up to you. One thing you wanna decide on too in the settings is your referral conversion window. So what does that mean? That means when somebody sends out an affiliate link for one of your products and one of their people clicks on it, it's it's got a little cookie to say, okay, I'll, I'll track this person's behavior to see if they buy in the next 30 days. If they buy anytime in the next 30 days, your affiliate is gonna get um, credit for that sale. So they don't have to buy it the first time they click on it. They don't have to buy it it, within any time, unless it's within 30 days, they have to buy it finally within 30 days to get credit for it. But you could decide to make that a 60 day window or 90 day window, depending on how generous you wanna be. And I'm not saying I'm not generous, but I think 30 days is pretty standard. Uh, and I feel good about that. If someone promotes something and their person buys it within the next 30 days of having clicked on it, they should get the credit. But if they don't, I'm like, hey, it didn't really work. So promote again kind of thing. So I leave it at 30 days, but you have the option to change that. Also, by the way, this is where you're gonna have to enable registrations before you can send people out that link for them to sign up as an affiliate. And then the great thing is from their back end, they're gonna have a simple dashboard that's gonna show their conversions, how much money they should be receiving. So they can log in at any point and see how much money they've made. Um, and that keeps it very equitable. It's not like they have to trust you. It should be pretty obvious in their back end how many conversions they've gotten and they can log in at any point to see what they've made. Now, let's just briefly talk about how to do affiliates well if either someone approaches you or you want to approach somebody for a strategic partnership to affiliate promote for you. Affiliate promotions work best when you do the heavy lifting for them. Meaning you have a proven product that you know the conversion rate when you could say, hey, this product converts at 1% of my email list when I send it out or 1.5%. If you have that data, that means a lot because then they can do the math in their head. Okay, well, if I have a list of 10,000 people and it converts at 1%, I know I'm going to sell this many copies and then it costs this amount and I'm going to get 50% of that or whatever the percentage you choose. So they can do the math, but do the math for them. The best times I've been approached by someone who wanted me to affiliate their stuff, they've done the math and they said, look, this offer, this funnel, this sales page tends to convert at this percentage. 
And with your commission, you're going to get this amount per sale. So if you have a list of 10,000 people, you would make this amount of money. If you had a list of 50,000 people, you make this amount of money. They've done the math for me. So I see dollar signs. That's what you want your affiliates to see is dollar signs. That's going to incentivize them. Also make it easy for them to promote it. So have swipe copy, have a couple of emails that are proven to work with some suggested subject lines have graphics, have testimonials, anything and everything to make it easy for them to like not have to come up with a launch strategy or an email strategy. If you've got pre-launch content that works like an auto webinar that converts, one of the best things I've done is I have an auto webinar for the Recording Revolution that I know adds value, it sells my bundle well, and it converts well. And so what I give affiliates is an affiliate link for that auto webinar and like some email copy to promote, to tweak for their own voice and say, look, if you just use your affiliate link for my free webinar, you can send that out to your audience as a gift. They're gonna go through that webinar and enjoy it and they're gonna feel like you gave them a gift and then it's me who's selling them on the back end. And when they buy it, you're still gonna get a commission because it's tracking all of that. Even though you didn't send them to a sales page, you just sent them to a webinar, it still tracks their journey and tracks whether they buy or not. And so I try to tee them up to like give a gift of an auto webinar, give a gift of an, a free opt-in or a lead magnet that sends people into a funnel. You can give people a, an affiliate link for your own lead magnet to just get them onto your email list, knowing that your product will be sold to them and then they'll get a cut of it. There's a lot of ways to do this, but the more you can show them the money, right? And then also make it easy for them to promote it by doing the heavy lifting, creating swipe copy, graphics, testimonials, any of that kind of stuff. It, credibility, any of that kind of stuff, it's going to make your job and their job easier and it's going to make them more likely to want to promote your stuff. Keep in mind, the moment you have affiliates, you're going to have to just keep up with paying out monthly or quarterly, whatever you decide. But it's a small, it takes you just a couple of minutes. If you do PayPal, it's easy. You can send the money to them for free. You can keep track of it. It's not hard, but it is an extra step. And that's it. The great thing about Kajabi is they keep track of everything for you. The only thing it doesn't currently do for you now is automatically do the payouts for you. It's the only thing it doesn't do yet. Maybe they'll add that. It hasn't been a problem. Um, we've done big launches where affiliates drove a lot of revenue. I did a launch that for a course that was $300,000, $330,000 was the launch. 100,000 of that was affiliate income. That's a hundred grand. Now I didn't keep all of that. I kept half of that, but that's extra money and extra customers that other people sold for me. Right? So it can be powerful if you get affiliates working alongside you, especially if they're bringing people into your membership or into your group coaching program, affiliates are powerful. And just to be meta and to be very transparent. I know the people at Kajabi, I was, I had a meeting with them at their headquarters a couple of weeks ago in Irvine. And they told me that their growth in the last three years since they opened up an affiliate program, they've had, I think 40% of their growth, I was told, 30 to 40% of their growth came from affiliates, meaning them not promoting Kajabi, but other people promoting Kajabi. People like me teaching you about Kajabi and then people trying Kajabi out because maybe I talked about it, then you sign up through my link and Kajabi gives me a portion of that to incentive. That's why I'm incentivized to do it. Although I've been talking about Kajabi since 2013, but no one was paying me for that. But the point is, is they've had substantial monetary growth and customer base growth because of having affiliates do a lot of that work for them. And you and I can do the same. You can reach more people by having affiliates and it's worth giving up a percentage of each sale. There you go. There's affiliates setting it all up inside of Kajabi. Super easy to do, very straightforward. Um, and it's a win-win for everyone involved. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any Kajabi affiliate questions, let me know in a comment below. And if you want to try Kajabi, and if this was helpful for you, you want to support me, hey, would you consider signing up for Kajabi using my affiliate link, grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. It's right below. I'm going to give you goodies, like two online courses. Um, plus, you're going to get my, my love and affirmation and adoration for years to come, which is worth a lot. It's worth a lot. Anyway. Thanks for checking it out. And if you already have Kajabi, I love you. I already know we're, we're the same. We're kindred spirits because we love Kajabi. What can I say? Hey. So have an amazing day. I'll see you on another Kajabi tutorial soon. Mm -hmm.